G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. How come we all went forward then when we intro and then we all I don't know. Uh, VYC women, VYC men, it's and a big game, mate. There's huge wow. games. And some close. massive upsets. Huge ones. And it uh, throws a spanner in the works a bit. It's put one round closer than everyone else to finals. Um, they've got, you know, their star finals earlier. So, uh, not long now. Not long now. Uh, throwing a spanner in the works is probably going back 30 or 40 years. 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. What's the word? I use it. Some of you are a bit older. I don't what know. Is it? I don't what know. Is if the word? Youthies would it's understand. Better in the works. I don't think the youthies would. I think they would. I think yeah, that's a pretty common. Is it? No. But what are you throwing a star in? What? Thank you. Yeah. For VYC Women's Champion Game 55 went down to knock 61. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe a grand final. No, it's preview. not. No, it is not. Well, I think there's a chance it was a good win for Knox. Yeah. Knox put up 20 less shots, only taking 44 shots for the game, but they shot at 43% of the Sabres, 25%. I'm not going this one. Uh, Millie, Melissa Tealy, 18 points. For Knox? Yeah. Got a great domestic coach. Plays for a great domestic club. She does. Southeast Eagles. Coached by... Bella Prada. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, Monique Light, 17 points. It was great to see Millie getting a chance. Really well. Great win to knock. Sandy pushed them all the way. Two incredibly good teams. And I agree, there is a chance this could be a grand final. Play. It's very small. There's nothing... The grand final in this game is, well, in my opinion, um, probably been set for a number of weeks now. And who is? Danny Nong and Knox. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, hey, that's listen. fair. That's fair. Uh, just but Sandy are pretty good. A new coach at Sandringham. The, that might be a yes. little bit unfair. The yes. only team I think it's unfair towards is Ballarat and maybe and Bendigo. Bendigo has been all right. Hey, listen, um, there's nothing worse than being a name dropper. Yeah. Mm. But you're an absolute flog when the name that you're dropping is your own. Well, July you guys to give me any credit and it never happened. You, he dropped his own name. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, there you go. It's even worse. <laughs> what did you say? Ju yeah, flog. July 63, <laughs> Jelong, <laughs> Pauline 61. Foxy's girls went down yeah. to um, the Veronica Valley. Hey, 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 is Veronica, it Veronica or? Vivals. Georgia. Georgia, Georgia yeah. Georgia, Georgia Valley Veronica. Soccer. Who? What'd you say? That's not. It's not. It is. Isn't that Mum Veronica? No, yeah. that's not true. It's Lauren. Uh, hit a couple of clutch free throws down the stretch too. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Bulleen won three quarters in this game, but lost the game. Spirit. Um, Twenty-seven to nineteen start they gave up. Uh, Georgia Valley thirteen points, very good player. Ellison Marsh eleven and eleven. Amelia Smith had twelve and ten for Foxy's girls, and Sam Moody had eleven and nine, but it wasn't enough. Great win, Geelong, and... Might have spoiled the party for Boomers a bit. Uh, Start of a bad mm, weekend yeah, for Foxy and his girls, mate. Uh, next game, Hume City, 59, defeated Franklin 52. Big, um, Franklin didn't have a good weekend. No, either. they didn't, and a really bad yeah. loss for them. Mua Lawifi, great game, 24 points, 9 boards, and 5 steals. Good play. Courtney Wilkins, another good player. She had 20 of Franklin's 52 and 11 boards to go with it. Nice well, they won't be happy with this let's, one. Let's go out to uh, Kilsyth. Kilsyth, 44, went down to the Tigers, yep. who put together a nice little weekend. Mm. Uh, 32 to 20 second half. Nice. Kilsyth have really dropped off. Oh, yeah. JBJ, JBJ, JBJ went down. Went down Makes it tough. And yeah. um, a lot was being asked of Brianna McKenzie. Yeah. She's been doing her job. Yeah. How many but wins have they had since JBJ? I don't know. Maybe many. Maybe many. Perry Kalka um, had a good game in the seniors. Yes, um, 12 and 8 here. Uh, Ellen Kett, 12 points, 5 steals, 4 assists. Mm -hmm. Brianna McKenzie is mentioned. 16 and 9. Waverley 60, pushed Ringwood all the way 64. I reckon the Hawks have locked up the finals berth. Yeah, just about. With, uh, I don't think they've been the best of form, yeah. but yeah, this game does do. Yeah, no, it's, it's done enough. I reckon they've locked it up. Uh, Waverley came home hard 17 to 9 last quarter, but they fell short. Beck Nola, 20 points, 10 <laughs> rebounds, yeah. 4 assists, and 3 throws. Go away for it. Beck Nola, she had a good game. Yeah, really well. She's good, isn't she? What do you got to add? No, nothing, I'm not allowed to name drop, so. Oh, yeah. she's, in, she's in that same super team with yeah, Melissa Tealy. I coached by who? Myself and Kirsty Moore. Flog. <laughs> Absolute flog. Mel Zuccolo, 12 points and 10 boards. I think she had, Zuccolo. Zuccolo. She's good. I think she had like six, like six steals plays. as well, yeah, actually. I yeah. really like how she uh, Michaela Miller, 15 and 7. Zelda Raymond had 15. Let's head up to Bendigo. Bendigo. Let's head up to Bendigo with the flog. Oh. Oh. Come on, take it away. You said with the flog. No, you know oh, what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't say anything. Then you go 45, lost to Knox, 48. Really tight one. Scrap. Bit of a scrap fashion. Bendigo shot at nine. Um, um, yeah, what was that, sir? 29%, I think, before. 29%. Mike shot at 26%. Uh, Bendigo, 25 Stop turnovers. It. Certainly didn't help their cause. Raiders are I now... I made your notes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's good. 
<laughs> Raiders have now won seven in a row. It was Bendigo's first loss in nine games. You're um, really you're mad. Even I, 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 just hang on a sec. Bendigo's first loss in nine games. They got oh, um, three to Knox. They're, yeah, they're so in good form. Polish it off. Polish it off. Uh, Millie, Ivanov 11 and 11, and Caitlin McLaughlin um, 22 and 15. This is actually 2 of 45. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good win by Knox because they yeah, night before and an absolute builder. Then had to go to Bendigo, who are no, no slight. Slog. Like, no, I agree. Yeah, like, great win. Yeah, Slog. really good. Raiders you are rolling. Yep. Found a way. Melbourne 67 capped off. I made it 2 from 2 this yeah, weekend. Uh, knocked off Eltham at 58. Um, they killed the boards. The gazers. It was the ga- it was the gazers basically. Uh, 64-37. They only they shot 12 of 28 from the foul line. 43 percent from the foul line. That wasn't great. Look who's back in the team. Though. Courtney Gaze 17 and 13. Phoebe Gaze 15 and 16. Yeah. Twin towers. Not often the uh, twin sisters would have played both no. together recently. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been yeah, twin towers. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, at least Mar 13 points. No, 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 67 had a really oh, good nice. race. Ringwood uh, yeah. 50. Yeah. Spectres win the Stainer Lee Cup. Stainer Lee Cup. Nice. Yeah, 35 to 19. Off-season trade. Off-season trade. Yeah, off season trade. Off season trade. yeah 39, 35 to 19 over the middle quarters by the Spectres. Hawks managed to just shoot at 25% for the game. Meg Withers, 12 and 11. Cody Crossaratus, 12 and 8. Beck Nola, 16 and 9. And Nesley, 15. Look, it's a good win by another body. Look, this is, that was the sort of form they were in earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really and uh, they probably took advantage of Ringwood's uh, Gap playing the night before at yeah. top one, so no, they did what they, they, do. It was a good they did. Poor old uh, Foxy uh, would have been distraught on Sunday. Evening. Very annoyed. Yeah, take uh, us through. They went down to DV by four points, 53-57. Good win by the Eagles. Uh, the Storm home twenty to eleven good finish. Last quarter. Good finish. Uh, disappointing weekend. Yeah. Twenty six turnovers in this game too. Yeah. Uh, pretty sloppy. Foxy's good. Yeah, Foxy's good. Uh, Tessa Norman sixteen. Meg Creepy fourteen and ten. Shannon Duffy eleven points, seventeen rebounds. Gemma 5, 10 and 8 for the Boomers. Yeah, just quickly on Diamond Valley, they're 9 and 8 for the season. They might sneak into the... In fact, I reckon they will make the finals. No, they, they definitely will. Yeah, I reckon they'll make the finals. Uh, they, That's are, right. they are unearthing some very good... They are. Mick Groupie is a kid to watch They've, going um, forward. Shannon Duffy, we mentioned last week. It's a bit of a reset week. for that, them. It has. Good kids yeah, yeah that, it was, I think, 2010 when they were the powerhouse and they had like, girls like Nat Karen Zoulis yeah. and those girls. Um, that, that era, and they've the, you know, been pushing up into the scene. So it's been fantastic. Very Diamond Valley do very very well, but these some of these girls starting to come of age down Duffy. next season, especially. Uh, oh no! Oh, you know, yeah. No, very efficient. Yeah, Shannon Duffy. You like her, do you? Yeah, no, she she's good. Play. Yeah, I remember yeah. last time you kept going on Got about the Valley player. Duffy. She ended up in a Warrandyte uniform the next season. Who was that? What are you trying to say? Shannon Duffy's going to bed him next season. What's the name? What's the name? The Don Valley girl. Yeah, Case. Casey, yeah, Scullin. Scullin. Yeah, Scullin. yeah. yeah. nothing good. Frankston 39, the lost to Waverley. Don't, don't, try and, <laughs> don't try and create war between me and Diamond Valley. I love the Eagles. No, 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 he's plucking them. He realised I don't coach it. Warrant I didn't. No, I forgot. Sorry. Oh, okay. Just feels like it. Frankston 39, Shannon lost. Shannon Duffy, boy, like, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Well time. I'm watching Shannon a cool during the weekend. There he is. <laughs> 39 lost to Waverley 45. Another scrappy oh, game, low shooting percentage oh, by both. And teams. we do, we leave we leave the slogs to the flogs. So keep going. MK <laughs> slog it away to <laughs> MKD 12 points. Courtney Wilkins 17 and 19. Huge game. Stephanie yeah. 14. Good win to Waverley, but that really hurts Frankston. Frankston's a shocking weekend. Yeah. Waverley been right this season. Yeah. been down the last couple of years. No, no, you're right. Yeah. I'll take you through the ladders, mate. Be happy with that. Knox, sorry, Terrell Conference ladder. Knox 14 and 2. Sandy 11 and 5. Bulleen 10 and 7. Diamond Valley 9 and 8. That's your top four. Yep. Frankston now 7 and 11. Nutterwadding 7 and 12. Geelong 4 and 13. Hume City 2 and 16. The bottom three teams all got to win this oh, week, win. so well done. Good, good to see. Good, great to see. Uh, Watson Conference, Dandy Nonga 15 and 3. Ballarat 14 and 4. The Rat have won four in a row. The Rat. Bendigo 13 and 4. Oh, we, uh, by the way, while you were away, yeah. because we had the Rat oh, week, yeah, right. yeah. we did put it out to Bendigo that if they sent us a singlet or a shirt or a hat or something, we would have Bendy week. We would have Bendigo week. We have nothing. They haven't sent us anything. Crickets. So, Not. you know what? Ringwood we round out the top three with a 10 and 8 record. Waverley 7 and 10. Kilsai 6 and 12. Eltham 6 and 12. Yeah. Melbourne 5 and 13. Won the last two, the Tigers. Which Great work, to Tigers. Top four is well, done in both conferences. I think yeah. you um, might be right. Round 14, Saturday. Hume City, Nunawadding. Nunawadding for me. Both wins last week. This yeah. is the type of game 
that we expect them to win. But the Hunter Warding would lose. Yeah. Their inconsistency this yeah. season. No, this is the true. type of game where we're all three of us are going to tip Hunter Warding. You watch. We'll all tip Hunter Warding. Just underline them. I've just done it as well. And this is the type of game we'll be talking about next week. Yep. And they will have let us down. Agreed. Bulleen and Knox. Foxy's girls against Knox. 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 Right, Knox will get that. Uh, wrong. Yorna. Uh, Eltham, Sandy. 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 Did you say that that game will be a yawn? A yawn. Yeah, Knox will smack. Okay. Yeah. I don't going to be by that much. But... 20. 20? Mm. Uh, I think Sandringham will win at Eltham. Yes. So do I. Ballarat and Melbourne. And Melbourne have been very, very good. The gazers are there, but I reckon at home. Ballarat. Yeah, yeah, the because, well, the rat will go out and probably hang out at Sovereign Hill in the afternoon. And yep. head down to the game. And that's, what, well, that's what they do every week, apparently. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we went through they like, worked the top there. 10 the girls tours. Worked there. Yeah, we went yeah. through the top 10 tours attractions. That's oh, right. I was there. No. He oh, missed one week. I know he's been in rehab <laughs> last week. Yeah, it feels like, like an eternity. He was, yeah. Diamond Valley and Bendigo. I think Bendigo on the road. As good as as good as um, right. as good as uh, Meg Krupe and Shannon Duffersey have and been. The game. Especially Shannon. Uh, Shannon's been terrific, but I think Bendigo might win. Danny on the kill side. Danny Nong. Danny Nong to win it. Sandringham and Diamond Valley. Yeah, in fact, it wouldn't matter if they were playing away or that game was being played in... Um, on the moon! In, yeah, in uh, Lower Nana Goon. Not just Nana Goon, Lower Nana Goon. Is that seriously something? I think yeah. I've got no idea, but I think Danny Nong will win that game. Uh, Sandringham, unfortunately for Shannon and the girl, I think Sandringham <laughs> I think will win that game. I think the Good team. Anyway, Ringwood Geelong. I think Ringwood against... Ringwood uh, need it. If they can get a bit build up a bit of steam now in the finals, you know, maybe they can give it a shake. But at the moment, they're sitting in fourth and... Uh, have a clash to Knox to look forward to. Why did they only lost to Knox by four last yeah. week? I don't even think Veronica Bailey could get Geelong over the line this week. It's not a name. BYC, uh, man, right. here we go. What a crack at oh, the start wow. off. This was a good game. Melbourne 85 lost game. to Ringwood 88 in overtime. Yep. Really important win yep. for the Hawks well done, Hawks. against a quality opponent. Ryan Miller, huge game. 30 points and 14 boards. Had a big week. Yeah, yeah Mark Barris Decky sensation with 19 points and 13 boards. Remo Simakevich. Yep, yeah, 29 points, five trades for the Tigers. Tom Chambers, Cowell's cousin, 20 and 14. Yeah. Great win to Ringwood. Yeah, it was a really good, win. good win. Anytime you get a game in OT against a quality opponent. Yep. Yeah. Away from home. Yeah, no, the Hawks take head on that. Right. Absolutely. Are you taking this Oh, you're joking. All right, Diamond Valley 76 lost to Nutterwadding in 91. It was the start of a poor weekend for Diamond Valley. It was 52 to 35 across the middle quarter, set up the Spectres for the win. Right Spectres up. shot at 52%. 52%? Before we get into one wow. player here, Luke Van Ryn had 21 points. For DV, Kyle Woodfold, 28 and 7. I'll take us through this. Dylan Hoggerty Doyle, D what an amazing game. D. 34 points. 16 rebounds, DHD was Don't all mind it. over it. On uh, Saturday. Yeah, dominated, yeah. Well, Wait till you see the Sunday. Yeah. Saturday was incredible. I reckon he saved his best for Saturday. Good win, Nana Wadding on the road. Speaking of good wins, whoo, massive, three. massive upset, DHD. A massive upset, massive. Sandringham, 92, defeated Knox, 89. Great come from behind win by the Sabres. They won the rebounds 56 to 28. 56 to 28. Uh, 34 of Knox's Ouch. points came from the foul line. 34 of their 89 came from the foul line. So they got to the... That was the shot from the line. Got to the strike. Yeah. Matty Burke for Sandringham. Uh, 27 points, 13 rebounds and 5 assists. That's James Sigurdini had 16 points, 14 rebounds and 5 assists. Alex right. Lemons had 14 points and 8 rebounds. Daniel Horseman, 20 and 7 for Knox. Casey Marshall had 17. Sandringham, wow. you bloody Stand little... Stand up and take yeah. it That was sensational. Great win. Really, really good. Well, I reckon Knox. I reckon Knox would have headed out to Sandringham and thought, "How far? Yeah, fellas, how Wouldn't far? You? How far? Wouldn't you? Yeah, really good. Win well done, so just, Let's go down to Geelong, yeah, the home of the Valleys. The home of the Valleys. Valleys went down. Uh, Sixty to Bulleen, seventy-five. Start of a great weekend for the Boomers. Big win on Sunday. We'll get to wait that. till we wait till we talk about that. Tell you what, uh, just two points in it at the half, but then Bulleen went yep. thirty-seven in yep. the second half. Uh, curtains. Yep. Tom Kilty at sixteen, yep. and Jackson Bentley as usual. It is bits, 20 points. Well done, chance. Boomers, but the best Ooh. yet to come. This was a massive game Saturday night. Uh, yeah. Massive game Saturday night. And one of the three of us tipped this. Well, I'll go. 
Yeah. You weren't here. Well, don't give, give but you would have tipped Kilsoft. No, I would not. No, oh, you, you would have tipped I know. I have an intimate knowledge of the Sheriff team. I've taken photos, like, at the game. Oh, that's intimate. <laughs> yeah, I've taken photos at the game, like, action shots. We probably don't want to go down this path. We probably don't want to know. I'm just going to keep digging. <laughs> <No, laughs> just keep digging. I think you should probably finish right there. Huge win by the Suns. They're on a roll in a real final so we're going to talk about who tipped Sheriff. Oh, I did. And you didn't. <laughs> you oh, did, we did. Did we I both did. tip it? Yeah, we both tip it. Yeah. yeah. We tip the upside. I can hardly be. Like, just you can't have a go at me. You can't up. have a go at me. Just hurry up. 38 26. Second half by the Suns. Michael Dow, 15 and 7. Kirk Smith, 13. Adrian Tomata had 21. Just... I, I reckon right now, yeah. everyone is very, very concerned that Sheriff is going to make the finals. Oh, me too. Rob Roberts has these guys absolutely a, well, double R. What's his name? Two Robs. Two Robs? Rob Roberts. Yeah, Rob Roberts. Well, it's Two Robs. Yes. Is it his yeah. name? Yep. <laughs> Ripper guy. Yeah. Absolute Ripper Every other guy. team in and that other conference. Role, right. Every team that head on the swivel. Bam. Yep. So then we go to... <laughs> After a long dry spell, Eltham have given Ballarat a bit of a hiding 90 to 43. You know what I look about this? But foot <laughs> on the throat. We yep. spoke about that last week. Foot we? on the throat. Yep. We don't care the right by 20 something at halftime. Push, we're gonna go, push, push. We're going to go 56 yep. to 22 yep. on you in the yep. second half. We're going to make you shoot 26%. We're going to dominate you on the glass. Yep. Last 60 to 36. Yep. Killed him. Out. 12 players play between 11 and 21 minutes. Shout out love. No one played more than everyone involved. Jeff well, is, yeah, well done, Jeff. Yeah, okay, okay. Turn yeah, style at the bench. Just, uh, Lipinski still had 14-7 in mm. limited minutes. Connor West still 10-11. Brady Neal, as usual, low hand. 15 points for Ballarat. Low Pretty hand. sorry year. Yeah, it's been a down year for yeah. Ballarat. Down year. Do they, do they drop a division next season? You, you are. I don't know. Have a look at it. I don't know what's going on. Mind you, um, I mean, they've got some great players, but a lot of them get uh, taken up to higher levels to play for the senior mm-hmm. team there at Ballarat. So I don't know whether they get their best team on the floor. Mm. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, no, I think that's pretty fair. Another one in 90, knocked off Ringwood, 83. Yes, good win. Costa Hornopolis, 28 points, five boards, six dimes. Yeah. He pops up every now and yeah. then. Not bad. Nicholas Ross, 18 points, three trays. I think, uh, what are you smiling at me for? I think DHT um, shot like, 1.10 1. rebounds, I think. <laughs> yeah. After having 34 and 16 <laughs> and <laughs> Ryan Miller, what? Flog watch. <laughs> Who? Ryan Miller, 23 points, and Andy oh. Nollup with 22. Here what? we go. He, he, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you coach this? Andy, yeah. Good job, mate. Well done. I, eat. I coach him too. Yes, <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. So I'm surrounded by flogs. Is that what you're trying to say? I am officially a flog sandwich this week. There you go. Waverly absolutely demolished poor old DV. Waverly are on a huge winning streak at the moment. Waverly. 24 to 8 start. You think people are scared of Sherbrooke? <laughs> They're terrified of Waverly. 24 to 8 start, 24 to 10 finish. They won the boards 57 to 36. Yeah. Declan Harrod, 21 and 15. He's back. Kwani Kwani, 21, 10, and 5. Yep. Den Kwani, 15, and bang, 7. Bang, Max bang. Matala, 16 points, 4 triples. But um, the next best was 7 for DB. That absolutely kills me. Bulleen, 79, defeated Kilsai, 53. What the? It, what a horror weekend. Another massive upset for the Cobras. It was 37 to 19 middle quarters by the Boomers. Bulleen on the rebound count, 49 to 34. The Cobras oh. shot at only 29% for the game. Nathan So, 20 points. Tom Kilty, 14 points. Jordan Little, 12, and 10. Kieran and Murphy, 17 and 8, the next best Cobra had 7 points. Did they have players missing? Uh, oh, I don't know. I, you, know you know what? Well, tomorrow's played on Saturday night. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't even matter. If you're a Kilsworth supporter, don't press the oh, panic God, button. No, they've only lost 3 for the year. Don't press the panic button. Do you reckon they pressed the panic button after Saturday night and they backed it up with this? I, I reckon what's happened here is Bullens come out and just fired. Kilsoth's just had an absolute shock. It's taken yeah. nothing away from the boomers, but sometimes every team, doesn't matter where you yeah. are on the ladder, every team is prone to just having an absolute shock. Agreed. No, you know what I think this has done? This is blowing the comp wide open. All of a sudden, Kilsoth doesn't look like a sure thing that they did. A well, the form ago. team's way at the moment. There's yeah. no age. Sherbrooke. And Sherbrooke. And Sherbrooke. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. M- mind you, Knox has lost. Yeah, Knox is still. They just lost? Yeah. Like, one of the three of us was stupid enough. No, that's probably right, man. Stu- talking about flog watch, one of the three of us was stupid enough earlier on this season to say that no team would get within 30 points of Kilsyth. Who was it? Flog. Yes, it was me. 
I forget what I say most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> the I old vlog watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I tipped bullet. You did. I did, I did not. Go back. I did. Remember? Because we both tipped Sherbrooke, and then I said kill Scythe and lose twice. And then you go, mm -hmm. no, 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 I'm no, watching no. that. You said no one would get within three. Yeah, I did. I said that a while ago, but then I jumped off the bed. <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah, I did. Frankston 66 round off the finish. Oh no, they don't. 75. Danny Nong. They got him by nine. Really needed this win. They yeah, did. Finals they did, is up. Yeah. Like it's going to be close. Um, busted the game open in the 26 to nine second period. Do it. Could put uh, John Creighton having a great year. 21, yeah. 21 and 11. Jack so was Jack Saunders. Jack Saunders. Yeah, yeah, 17 yeah. points. Jordan Jack teams 14 and seven. Jack Gaze 24 10 and four assists. For the Frankston need more than Jack Gaze. Gaze to go with Jack Gaze more okay. regularly. More Absolutely. regularly. Last game of the round. Hawthorne put away Geelong by 20. Zach Rose had 22 points, Cam Lowry 15 points, 10 boards, 8 blocks, pretty decent. Uh, and John McFall 13 points for Super Now, yeah, we'd love to tell you the ladders. I've got it. But, no, have they been updated? I've got it, yes. Oh, okay, alright, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Some fool forgot to press update of the ladders. <laughs> Speaking of vlog watch. <laughs> so, I'll, this is a special occasion, I'll do the ladders. Oh, that, okay, alright. Oh, uh, if we can allow that, or? Yeah, it should be right. Yeah. Okay. Extenuating circumstances. Mm. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. Um, Kilsyth, fourteen and three. Waverley, eleven and seven. Hawthorne, ten and eight. Pauline, nine and eight. That's your top four. Mm. Frankston, eight and eight. Diamond Valley, eight and cool. nine. Sandy, six eleven. And Geelong, two and fifteen. Still wide open. Very yeah. wide. Open. So those are lots of guys. Yeah. Okay. Just jumping over to the Terrell. Thanks. That'd be good. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, See how he does that. He's so good. Isn't no, you, you need to learn from that. Okay, take it away. I get pen and paper. Take it away. Knox, uh, <laughs> Knox are at the top, 13 and 3. Another one in 13 and 5. Melbourne, 11 and 7. Are you ready? Yeah. Fourth place, Danny Nong, 9 and 7. Mm. Sherbrooke, 9 and 9. Ringwood, 9 and 9. Eltham, 7 and 11. Ballarat, 0 and 19. At the lines under Ringwood? Yeah, Danny Nong's got to keep winning. Ringwood's got to keep winning. Yeah. Because Sherbrooke, feel that? Sherbrooke, feel that? Sherbrooke, yeah. Sherbrooke can't. How exciting. What a great finish to the season we're going to have. Here we go. Round 14, Saturday games. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Ballarat. Yeah, I reckon Hawthorne might just get across the line. On the buzzer. By about 33. <laughs> All right. Ringwood <laughs> When the buzzer goes, <laughs> Ringwood they'll be up by 33. I think the Raiders are going to respond from their loss to you. <laughs> I think not to get on the road as well. Waverley, Geelong. Waverley. Waverley. Have Fun with oh, that. Oh no, exactly. oh no. Eltham at Nana Wadding. Nana Wadding. I think Nana Wadding will win that. So hey, Jeffers boys. No, no, they've got to win last Yeah, they'd be Ballarat. Yeah, I think, yeah, think Nana Wadding will get that. Um, Sunday, Don Valley Berlin. Ooh, this is an interesting game. Uh, well, yeah, game. You know what, based on what we've just seen from Berlin, my yeah. question would be why wouldn't why you not? Tip them? Yeah, I'm going for Bulleen. So I'll go Funky. I'll go the Funky Bunch down there at Bulleen. Killsoft bounce back game. Is that Dan? Yeah, I know. I know. Facebook. Dan on Killsoft. At Dan on Killsoft. I think they're going to bounce back and show us how good they are. Killsoft will come as hard as you can yeah. possibly want. You're going Dan on that. Killsoft will come out. Come on. And come on. lose. Alright. I reckon uh, you're going to die. <laughs> hey, you're only as good as you. Alert. Or panic. But I reckon they'll hit it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Two no. losses. Two losses. All right. You're on your uh, yeah. You're Gee, on the three losses of the moment. It's Frankston, Melbourne. That's where I was the past week. Frankston, mm -hmm. Melbourne. Melbourne to win. Melbourne, Melbourne for the me. The road. They'll come back from that OT loss. There you go. Yeah, Actually, one loss. women and youth league one men. And what we have determined on this week's show, if you've just joined us, is we don't like name droppers. Mm. Mm. But when the name you're dropping is your own, you're an absolute flog. See you next week on Big <laughs> TV.